All right, let's get, head to the French Quarter and try to see if we can't find something to do. <laughs> Laura says, I have not come home tipsy when it's light outside still in a long time. I know what that's like. I've been drinking since like 1 p.m. because I was podcasting with Keith. Unfortunately, our podcast was uh, eaten by his computer, so we sp spent four hours chatting and have nothing to show for it. <laughs> Real bummer, but hey, what can we do? Could you help me? Oh, I've heard about that. Let me tell you. Passers by suggest using a cab near the Harbor Master building to reach the French Quarter. Okay, we will do that. Got a spot in mind. French right. Quarter and get us there fast. We're gonna give up on getting all ten of those uh, posters. I don't feel like looking for them. Here we are, the French Quarter. You know, Watson, the opulent mansions and stifling heat remind me of my time in the Mediterranean. Cordona does sound rather magical. Do you think you shall ever return? I... I don't know. That place was home to some of my greatest memories and... some of my lowest moments. Yeah, me, Keith, and, uh, and Andrew podcasted for like four hours only to find out halfway through that the, uh... The podcast was gone, but hey, we, we had a good time. We were chatting about uh, just plans for the future uh, and figuring out kind of where we'll go from here. So should be a good, uh, good slate of content available for everyone over the next year or so. <clears throat> Excuse me, miss. Are you all right? What is your name? Eula, sir. Waiting for someone, Eula? Y uh, yes, sir. My brother, Davy. He works for Mr. Arneson in that mansion yonder. <laughs> Been five days now since I last heard from him. Come now, why all the tears? Something happened to Davy. I feel it in my bones. Do you think he may have left the premises? No, sir. Davy, he ain't like you and me. He's smart in some ways, but he can't talk. Not a word. He's, he's pure and kind. Fear not, we will look for your brother. One presumes this gate is locked. Is there any other way inside? There's another entrance through the stables you could try. That's where I meet Davy normally, but I, I couldn't get in. See, I couldn't find the key. It wasn't in its usual spot. Please hurry, sir. Find him for me. All right, so we got to find Davy. Gives us at least one lead. Whoa, we're already in chapter five? Okay. The horror at the door. How very alone in the dark. Please, Lord, protect my brother. All right, that's the only clue that we have, so we're going to have to work with just this. Locked from the inside. <clears throat> Often used lock. Have not been lost in the river, along with all our clothes, books, tea. Huh. So it's, it doesn't look like we'll be able to get into there. Oops, I sneezed. Oh boy. Bogged down here for a long time. Huh. Are you able to help me? You're a good sort. I'll help you. Listen closely. The locals say that Mr. Arneson's mansion has a large gate adorned with bisons. Well, good to know. I already knew that. Well, this is exciting. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, there's someone in there. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. Uh 
Aha, a key. This must be the key to the stables. All right, who's here? Oh, that's a horse. That's not a person. An animal has been suffering for days. It's dehydrated, Holmes. Without water, it will die. It's got a lot of poop over there. Mr. Arneson's cab is still here. Okay. Kay and Pepper. Half empty. Or as Watson would say, half full. <laughs> is there anything else I can look at with this? It looks like that's the only interaction point. There's a dying horse in the stables. We need to get it water. Mr. Arneson's cab is still here. Aha, uh -huh. but we can walk through here. This could be useful. Got a bucket full of water. Go give it to the horse. So it looks like Mr. Arneson That's one life saved. has forgotten to uh, take care of his horse. Look at that. Good horsey. Relatively decent house. This is real, the skeleton key hours here right now. Real spooky estate. Let's look around, see what we can find. So Yet I doubt there was peace around here. Gonna need to look in here on this side. Uh, eventually, we just haven't unlocked the clue that needs us to interact with that yet. Could we be walking into a trap? <clears throat> Why, yes, always, my dear Watson. The game is afoot. <laughs> Alright, it doesn't look like there's much for us to do other than uh, either open the front gate or go into You did it. You're inside? Have you seen Davy? Not yet, miss, but we are on it. Please look for my little brother. Alright, time to head in. Mm, no way in. This is time to go out back to find a way in. That we can do here with this. Ah, do you smell that, Holmes? Something bad happened here. I know. Be prepared for anything. Oh boy, murder! Watson, please lend me your medical expertise. I'll do my best. All right, we are playing as one, Sir John Watson. An enormous blow shattered her ribcage. That's pretty brutal. Blooded, broken nails. The poor woman tried to put up a fight. Aha! Extremely sharp and deadly. A wound like this could only be dealt by a man of incredible strength. Oh and boy, cruelty. Sherlock startled me. <laughs> All right, let's see. Scrawlings. Hey, I see. T for two. Odd glimpse of normalcy amid the horror. A used kitchen towel. All right, we're doing an okay job here. We, we're collecting some clues. Why does it look so familiar? It looks familiar because you've been there, Sherlock. That's the dream lens, baby. Gotta wake up, dude. I will need your help one more time, Doctor. Okay, interesting. So there's a lot of murder happening here. A deep stab reached the man's heart. Clean edges suggest a sharp blade, but the wound is too wide for an ordinary knife. The hand can bend freely. Rigor mortis has passed. Intriguing. His corneas are already clouded. See, so yeah, I guess this happened a little while ago, and then if rigor mortis has already passed. Hay on his trousers suggests a gardener or groom. This man has been dead for a week. The result Ooh. of a sharp object piercing Make his it quick. Heart. There's no you are mostly right. But I would bet he died five days ago. 
heat and humidity will have accelerated the decomposition. That's not good. Circular scratch marks, wax drops, there was a candle here. I've intercepted a strange telegram sent to Ashmat. It is utterly cryptic, and I cannot make head nor tails of it. The mailman confirmed the telegram was definitely for Ashmat, so we must know what it means. The rest of the note is unreadable. How exciting. Huh. What are we looking for? Where, what do we want here? Passing over something. There we go. Burnt papers. Now completely unreadable. Yep. Blood droplets. Can't go in there. We can't go into the door with the horse symbol. Nor the door with the bell symbol. We're gonna need to find keys, it seems like. Alright, we're getting closer and closer to figuring out the truth of this crime scene, but there is a lot here to deal with. Mr. Arneson, I'm happy to know that you like the work carried out in your study room. It was a challenge and the most difficult job I've done. The lock was handmade to create the mechanism in accordance with your requirements. I added a magnetic bezel that must be activated to open the lock. As requested, it is hard to see the keyhole if you don't know where to look. Tell your friends about me. Thank you, JG Lock, Lock and Sons Lock Smithery. Intriguing. They're really spooky paintings, huh? What I wouldn't give for a nice bath right now, Holmes. Screen space reflections there on that mirror. What horrors happened here indeed, Watson? My good boy. We must figure out where to interact. Okay, the sword room is in fact open. Look at that. Big old piggy. Arneson and Davy seem to have got along well. He looks more like a son than a servant. Intriguing. Arneson and Davy, 1881. So that was last year then. Interesting. Raccoon! The increasing number of raccoons in urban areas has provoked diverse reactions in humans, ranging from hostility uh, at their presence to deliberate care. The close proximity to human results to humans results in behavioral changes to how raccoons live and in, in, interact with people. For many generations, humans and raccoons have developed an invisible ecosystem that the animal now relies upon when finding food. However, such relationships can be extended. Raccoons are fond of items that shine. Some cases report thievery of jewelry and new hardware. Not incorrect. I do love expensive, shiny things. Money is my favorite thing in the world. Raccoons do not usually prey on domestic cats or dogs, but isolated cases of attacks have been reported. The majority of attacks also result in rabies uh, that can plague the gaze of raccoons. To protect your household against raccoons, you can turn your attention to smells. Spicy smells might be used as an easy and effective raccoon repellent. A small bottle of cayenne pepper with a bottle of hot sauce with an addled <laughs> gallon of water uh, gives this powerful mixture to get rid of raccoons. Spray this pepper solution around your plants, bushes, and other garden greenery. If you're trying to deter, raccoon, deter raccoons from prowling your chicken coop, spray it around the perimeter as well. If you don't have cayenne pepper, Epsom salt is a great alternative and just for 15 cents per brick. Uh, I like spicy food, so that won't work on me, sorry to say. Dear Errol, I do want you to find what you're looking for, but I can't deny that my misgivings are growing with each passing day. I fear the worst. I'm worried about you, about what you're doing. My heart stops when I think about where you look for your answers. I wouldn't give them to you. I wouldn't given I would have given anything so that you might stop disappearing. Errol, please. 
You must stop. We have something beautiful together. Isn't that enough? I hope you hear from me. I hope to hear from you soon. I love you, L. New Pied Piper. Foreigners missing in New Orleans. Gasp, ew. Huh. What are we looking for then? We have one thing left to find. Fauna of Louisiana. Full of things that bite, no doubt. All right, so we found that. What is this? Note the blade, Watson. A curved dagger, probably of Persian or Indian origin. Nine or ten inches, I'd say. Okay. So we do have at least one Persian dagger to find then. Intriguing. We do not have the clues necessary to piece everything together yet. We're, we're almost there. We're almost there. Let's see. A dashing portrait of Mr. Arneson. This place sets my teeth on edge, Holmes. Here we go. My dear friend, the boy's a genius. Despite seeing a fraction of my formula, he recreated it and solved it. It is a function that young students have serious trouble with. Your Davy is a prodigy. What surprises me even more is that when I ask him any question, the boy writes answers that are your direct quotes or mine. His memory is impeccable. I know you took the boy under your wing to take care of him, but I'm asking you to let me hold some lessons with him. I truly believe that with your help, this boy can shine and change the world. Lakofka. Mysterious. A dull book about local geology. Even I'd struggle. Indeed. Alright, so there is a lock we need to find up here at some point. So we're gonna need to find that pretty soon. Where would it be? Here it is. All right, so we found a lock here, but we need an item to get into it. And it needs to be an A. There's a painting across one entire wall inside Mr. Arneson's study room, which has a sword sign on the door. The eye of a reptile on the painting has an unusual indentation in the shape of the letter A. All right, so where are we gonna find that then? All right, that's really the only thing we have left, so let's look around. We are gonna need to figure out exactly how to get into all of these rooms, that's for sure. We have almost all of them though. Wow, six different possibilities for that last one though. That's pretty rough. All right, let's look at our mind palace. What happened to Davy? Photo of hunters, not gonna be correct. Dying horse, door with horse stable, mansion crime scene. Which of these is correct? Not gonna be able to get anything from that. Content of the burnt message. Alright. Ooh, 
Letter from Lakovka. That's a good one. Uh, we'll try this. Let's try a photo of Arneson with the boy. All right. A letter from L. Let's see if this is the right one. All right, looks like we still have one thing possibly left to gain one possible clue to figure out this uh, this piece of the mind map. How can the painting lock be opened? We have Arneson with the boy, secret lock. Uh, letter from locksmith. All right, we have to figure out one more. All right, we have one more clue to find. Dang, we're so close, but we're just not quite there yet. Gotta find quite a few more things here. Mr. Arneson with his prey. The day started poorly and went downhill from there. The sooner we get what we need, the sooner we can leave this horrible place. Let's look around, just make sure. Here we go. The candle was burning when it fell. Someone smaller walked over these boot prints. A trail of wax leads to the door. Aha. Uh -huh. The door with the horse symbol then, more important for us. Can't open that door. Already been over here. Already looked over here. Go upstairs, see if we can find anything else. The sooner we get what we need, the sooner we can leave this horrible place. Cool your cool it, Watson. We're good. This is exciting and thrilling material that you're super excited to uh, investigate, my friend. <laughs> All right. Hmm. The sooner we get what we need, the sooner we can leave this horrible place. It doesn't really. It seems like this whole room is like a red herring. We're so close to getting everything we need. The sooner we get what we need, the sooner we can leave this horrible place. We really just need to find the way into this uh, hidden room. I already got everything here though, so it's a little bit tough. Is there anything else we have? Mansion crime scene. All right, let's look around. There's one more concentration clue we have to get. Let's play around with this. Look around, see if there's anything on the floor we've yet to pick up. Here we go. Someone was bleeding, but it doesn't look lethal. All right, that was part of it. <laughs> Our, <laughs> Marty says this game looks fascinating. It is, it's very interesting. It's a full-blown Cthulhu Lovecraft adventure game mixed with Sherlock. All right, let's, let's start looking through here, see what we can't mix together, shall we? Nope, not that. <laughs> a 
this is more likely, right? Huh. All right. Now here we go. Let's see what we have. No, it's not a pig that they're pulling. That's nuts. Hmm. We already got everything here. Yeah, that's three for three. left to discover. Ben says, is this game actually any good? It looks real janky and awkward. It's a little bit janky, but it's pretty good. The we get what we Works as an adventure game pretty well. This place. Definitely a massive increase in quality from chapter one, that's for sure. Uh, let's see, we've already been here. I feel like we're missing something in here, but maybe I'm wrong. We need to get into that room. Go into concentration mode, see if there's anything for us around here. Did we miss anything like maybe outside or something? I don't know. Let's check outside real quick, see if there's anything out here that we haven't really looked into. The sooner we get what we need, the sooner we can leave this horrible place. There we go. Okay, so there are uh, steps around. Maybe we need to look around out here first. Aha! These fingers were severed with a single clean stroke, but I don't see the thumb or middle finger. That's fucked up. What the hell? What is this? What's going on here? Oh no! Alright, there's some... Um, footprints. Boots, size 10. Alright, let's see. We have size 10 boots we found. Alright, let's investigate this. Slight palm print. Where are the other clues? Oh no. <gasps> oh, hiccups. Yikes. Luxurious <laughs> shoes, size nine. All right. Loris. Animal prints. I wonder what kind. Those are raccoon prints. Look at that. I know my kind. I know where they're at. Here we go. All right, we found all the pieces, I think. A scrap of silk, soft and elegant. The raccoons killed her. The raccoon mafia. No sign of a boat. That's fucked. Look at that. That's an alligator just hanging out over there. Fuck that. No, thank you. Hard pass, my friend. All right, let's go back inside the house, see if we can't piece things together. 
Almost ripped out. Okay. We have a general idea of the things that happened here. Someone tripped. Say we're running. Alright. What happens when we go inside now? Okay, we're still not at full though. This is obnoxious. <laughs> what do we need to do? What are these? What what are the differences here? Let's see. I think this one's going to be relatively simple. Right, what is this one? I don't think either of these is correct. What do we need to look at here in order to get that right? Yeah, someone attacked him. We knew that. The sooner we get what we need, the sooner we can leave this horrible place. The sooner we get what we need, the Chill, sooner we can leave John. this horrible place. The sooner we get what we need, the sooner we can leave this uh -huh. horrible place. The bent end of this candlestick has blood on it. All right, that was the only thing we needed. Okay, <laughs> here we are. Interesting that that uh, mixed basically all of the different pieces that we were looking for. So I think this is right. Man, we have a long ways to go. All right. That seems possible. All right, um, what do we have here? Absolutely going to be taking the body that way. Is there anything up here? Play with? I don't know. Nope. One, two, three, four. Oh no, where are all of the pieces here? Okay, here's one. Oop. Drop my controller. Absolutely just wrecked that on my keyboard. Oops. Seems right. This is right. So it's got to be the one in the kitchen then. Huh. 
Huh. Where's scene two? Is this scene two? Nope. I think it's just these two that I have wrong, right? What? <laughs> I'm a little bit confused. All right. Let's try to see. We know this guy had something. I think the axe is what, was it the axe that was used? Or was it the cleaver? So we know that the people were stabbed individually. That's got to be correct. Huh. So he was stabbed with the regular knife, I think. wasn't used anywhere. Do I just have this wrong completely? Alright, so that's where they dropped that. So I thought it was the guy with the Persian knife that uh, that attacked everyone, right? Is there another modification of this? So he has the Persian knife. Definitely think this is how this happened. So what am I missing out here? He attacked him with the knife. And then this one is probably the incorrect one, right? There we go. Intruder entered through the back door at night, leaving mud traces in the hallway. 
Without being noticed, they picked up a candlestick and struck the man in the chair from behind. In the kitchen, two people were drinking tea, the workman and cook. They were startled by the noise of a falling body and went to investigate the parlor. The workman tried to subdue the intruder, but was stabbed by the attacker's knife. Judging by the wound, it was a curved blade. The cook panicked and fled back to the kitchen. The intruder followed, but since their blade was stuck in the workman, they used the meat cleaver on the table to kill her. Someone smaller arrived and discovered the carnage. They dropped the candlestick in horror and ran for safety to a room down the hallway. Meanwhile, the intruder returned to his first victim and dragged their stunned body away from the fireplace. This one was tough. This was a tough little puzzle. Hard to get everything like perfectly lined up here. <laughs> The horrors of the Arneson Manson. So we've we, mansion. We figured out roughly where uh, where things go. Let's see this. Um, I thought so. The animal at the Arneson Mansion is in fact a raccoon, but I can't figure out where to look that up. Search this in the archives. Class mammals order. Uh, are they rodents? Weight, five to ten pounds. Uh, bayou, surge, nope. Here we go, raccoons. The increasing numbers of raccoons in urban areas has provoked diverse reactions in humans, ranging from hostility to their presence and concerned care, close proximity, blah, blah, This is exactly the thing that we read. Interesting. Mansion crime scene. All right, we have a few more things, it seems, to investigate. Intriguing. Intriguing. 